what are life processes so here we have discussed about the main character character by which we can distinguish what is living and non-living so the living things they have the basic feature what is that they have the movement of molecules and these molecules they make up the structures and organization so this organization has to be kept there and if it is destroyed it has to be repaired and it has to be maintained so for this maintenance continuous flow of molecules is required so how this movement of molecules takes place how the supply of molecules takes place for this maintenance job so whatever the organization is there cells to tissues to organs to organ system organization the organism so the organism it has to live for the condition of life for the condition of living it has to be maintained continuously the repairs has to be done the needed energy has to be supplied so this is the repair and maintenance job it keeps on going on even though the organism is not doing anything in particular say for example today is a holiday for you so you're not doing any job over there you're not going to school you're not playing just you are sitting in the sofa and watching tv so just you are sitting or relaxing on the bed even then you need energy even then in your body the life processes they have to go on in the sake of maintaining maintenance of your systems so even though you're not doing any job your systems are to be maintained and repairs has to be done so even though you're not doing anything particular that means your body needs supply of molecules for the process of maintenance so your body needs energy so from where these molecules are supplied to you you get the continuous supply of molecules through your food we call this life process the process by which the food that is the chemical molecules that are supplied to the body for maintenance and growth it is nutrition so nutrition is the process in which you obtain the materials needed for your body either for production of energy either for growth repair maintenance and all such so that is nutrition every living thing it need to have the life process nutrition nutrition is a very important life process one of the important life processes because it is the main thing which supply the energy to your body in the form of molecules so energy is present outside in the sun solar energy it is transformed to chemical energy in the in the form of food material food substances either fruits or vegetables or cereals or pulses whatever you eat as food so the food contains energy in the form of chemicals or molecules by the process of nutrition these molecules are taken in and the energy is released in your body and supplied for the different purposes like maintenance so not only maintenance growth is also required when you are at a growth period so we grow till certain age so thereafter there will be a lot of maintenance in the body since you are growing up you are a growing kid in your body the bones are to be grown the muscles are to be grown and different things blood blood vessels nerves everything so all these need supply of molecules to grow most of our systems many parts of our body and cells are made up of or built up of carbon molecules carbon based molecules hydrocarbons fats proteins amino acids and carbohydrates all these are carbon based molecules so we need a continuous supply of carbon based molecules from the environment so this is done by the process of nutrition so these raw materials are supplied to serve the first purpose is maintenance 
maintenance that is the repair and maintenance of our body that is the first one for that purpose energy is supplied in the form of chemical molecules second one is growth so here we identified one life process that is nutrition so here we identified one important life process that, that is nutrition so nutrition in the sense the living things obtain the necessary materials from the environment so that is called as nutrition it includes how the organisms obtain the, their food the molecules necessary for maintenance and growth so that is that comes under nutrition the food is available in different forms in the environment the energy is available in the environment in different forms of course our cells may need different form of energy but the energy is present in a another form in the outside world so the transformation of energy has to take place so we have eaten some food fruits vegetables cereals pulses all these things they contain so many molecules carbohydrates proteins fats these kind of different molecules that is the chemical energy but our cells they need energy in the form of some other molecule so called atps so a cell needs atp but you cannot directly eat atps from outside world so by the process of nutrition you have obtained something which is called as a protein which is called as a carbohydrate which is called as a amino acid you cannot get atps directly so your cells need atps to make energy your cells need atps for maintenance your cells need atps to produce energy so whatever the molecules we take they are to be converted into the form of energy which is needed by the cells for the movement of molecule in the cells so this is done by another life process we are taking food our food the major part of our food is carbohydrates which give energy so you are eating carbohydrate rice or wheat in the form of chapati or roti rice in the form of steamed rice along with some vegetables and other things so the major part is carbohydrate so this carbohydrate it's a carbon based compound it gives energy how it gives energy this is achieved by another life process called as respiration the second one respiration in this the molecules like glucose are oxidized here the substances are oxidized and reduced to convert the molecules which you have taken as food into the form of energy so energy is released from the food by a life process called as respiration so we discussed that for the maintenance of life for the maintenance of structures in a living system various life processes are essential so among those we identified the first one is nutrition and the second one is respiration in which different reactions like oxidation reduction takes place to convert the molecules which we have taken as food into the energy into the form which can be easily utilized by the cells that is respiration so we call we'll see what is this respiration what are the different kinds phases of respiration what are the various steps and how the process of respiration takes place in the coming up sessions we'll see what is that but here we identified the second life process and its importance if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus